Good morning, folks. We're right at spaceweathernews.com, and weeks of pointing at these dates for a solar uptick have paid off. Solar flaring cracks into M range for the second day in a row as Mars conjoins the Sun, while a week ago, C flares were rare. The M flares are coming from the northern departing sunspot group. It'll be gone soon, and we'll bring our eyes to the other side where a megafilament is riding up onto the Earth facing disk. Another big rope turning this way with one heck of a coronal cavity coming with it. When the sunspots on the northwest depart the disk, we'll have some following it and more coming in. Up north, the two tiny regions never spread into each other and are calm. Down south, a second grouping is forming below, but slowly and not interactively. Calm there as well. I'm surprised the big boy down south incoming hasn't let loose yet. Size and bipolarity down there. An interplanetary shockwave can be seen in the solar wind here. I bounced back and forth yesterday thinking it was the CME versus coronal hole stream, but I've settled on the small filament snap CME from a few days ago. The coronal hole stream needs another few hours to a day to arrive. This gave a good smack to our magnetic shield, but she stood her ground like a champion. No storm activity, just some mild to moderate charging potential in the satellite environment. Otherwise, it was a very calm day on our star, nothing else heading in Earth's direction, coronal hole departing to the right there as well. We again are having just moderate uptick signals in seismicity with a six-pointer in the West Pacific. Let's get a quick ice update. It appears that the North is keeping near the low end of the record readings, but still up from historic lows. Meanwhile, Antarctica has finally dipped below last year's records and is now just at its second highest ice extent in history. It'll be tough for it to break the record peaks from last year, again this year. Let's go to Hubble looking in on a nearby irregular galaxy. If you turn your head to the side, you could see this one being named the Shrouded Whale. Kind of beautiful. Then, if you zoom way out from Saturn, you can see a mega ring called the Phoebe Ring. Most people don't even know it's there, but it's so big it can hold a billion Earths inside of it. FYI, Saturn can't even fit 800 Earths inside of it, and the Sun could only fit about a million or so, so about a thousand suns could fit inside this ring of Saturn. And they've just announced it's even bigger than they thought. Scientists also say it's likely orbiting backwards, and that many small moons reside within it that we just haven't discovered yet. Now while that sounds like a star water principle, not so much as this story does. Folks, one of the four speakers that will be discussing exoplanet habitability here has previously emailed me about the star water mechanism and dare I say this is their chance to get out ahead of one of the most obvious space discoveries in history. I'm hopeful but not really expecting anything. Star water is of course the most popular series at suspiciousobservers.org and today is Saturday so we've got fly on the wall and today we'll be discussing a falling satellite, record cold events, Mars mission gaff, a big earth shift article and more. Click become a member to get in on the fun. Back to the weather where Oman is seeing the cyclone drop incredible amounts of rain. Full details will take a few days but suffice to say it's a rough one. Across the planet to southern Mexico where Carlos is churning away and I'm still hopeful for the westernmost track. To the north we see the convergence line cutting up through the states. The storm zone is enormous tonight, but the worst alerts should come here in Texas and New Mexico. Europe still eyes those lows to the western coastlines. They have a wide coverage, but still control the cloud pops and the storms in this region. Last but not least, down under we see a large high pressure zone. Convergence is visible to the southwest, but really, the clouds can be found wrapped around the entire high, especially north nearer the islands. We've got the ground level conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 6.20 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.